Hello! In this tutorial we're going to show you how to make and use tables. First I'm just going to show you how to make a basic table and use that. And then I have four pre-built tables that I'll show you how to, some of your other different options that you have. Now first to do anything with tables you need your table window open. So open that up. Any tables that you already have existing will be listed here. Um, these buttons here are um, create a new table, edit an existing table, delete a table, and duplicate a table. So first I'm going to create a new table. I'm just going to make a little wandering monster chart. I'll call it monster1. I'm not going to put anything in the row right now. I'll I'll show you why in a little bit here. All right now I'll put in these values here. This is your range is what you want to be rolled to get your whatever value you have. So in this case 1 through 5 will be a goblin and 6 through 10 will be a hob oops goblin. 11 through 15 a giant lizard and 16 through 20 your horrible death as you encounter a red dragon. Now, as you can see here this is based off a of d20 and if I didn't put anything in the roll here it will well, I'll show you. Now you see it's created and I'll go back to edit and it put in just a, a d20. It always tries to do whatever range you have here with a single die roll. So let's say for example you had 2 through 20 and you wanted it to do two ten-sided dice. Well if you didn't put anything in the roll and you hit accept, it would still try to do it with just one die roll. So you see it did, did a d19 plus one. So if you wanted a 2d10 you'd have to put in actually 2d10. Or I didn't delete that here. 2 d10. But that's not what we're looking for here. We're looking for a d20. So we'll just do that. And then there's a couple different ways to activate your um, your chart, uh, your table, versus just double clicking on it if you have the table open, the table window open. So you can just keep clicking on that and, oh, a lot of dragons. You're doomed. That's how that works. And then the second way is by using the table command in the chat windows. Just TBL stands for table and whatever the name of your table. So it's an enter and there that calls that up there. Now another option you have is to add uh, images. You just hit the green plus sign here. If you put an image up here you'll get an image down here in the image windows. Then for putting images in your actual roles you can use anything that's in your resource library. So uh, what am I here? A goblin. I'll choose that. Or a uh, hobgoblin. There we go. Or, uh, giant lizard um, red dragon there we go and they're all in there hit accept and now when you do it you are instead getting the different images so you're not getting the text now though you're just getting the images so you have to remember that now this does give you the option of getting like different graphic dice rolls for example this one right here gives you a, a D12 and actually if you go to help you can do add default tables the default tables are this is a one of the default tables you'd get it's all the basic dice D4 through D20 and then also a couple card decks we can see if I go in and edit this just all the different images of the different uh, dice are there so then some different options you have would be for example a hit location chart um, this is for the hero system. I have a little image there. You can see the sword. And then this is a 3D6. I have it in there. And this is the different parts of the body. And obviously you could put more information in there. So I've just had you could have stuff like if you get hit in the head you get times two damage. Things along those lines. But if you use it you see it just calls up Ooh, a lot of chest hits. Oh, there we go. Now you can also override the basic um, die rolling for that table. So for example here, if I have this command, I can put, say, just a 5. That will give me just the result of the 5. Remember, 3 through 5 was headshot. Or, uh, let's see here, 13 is vitals. And then, if you'd like, you could also just put a different roll in there. Let's say you want to do upper body. 2d6, oops, plus 1 instead of 3d6. That would just give you the upper body. So that does give you the option to modify your actual table roll that you're doing on the fly. Now one thing to note when I'm doing this, I'm doing 2d6 plus 1. And just putting it in there straight, I'm not throwing it by brackets, I'm not putting slash r in there or anything like that. Those won't work. You have to, just have to put the straight 2d6 to modify the table roll. 
Another option you have is nesting tables. I go to this one here, edit it. Oops, don't know why I put that in there. But you can see here, this row will put you to the goblins table, this one to the hobgoblins table. If you roll this, it'll go to the orcs table. So you see I have these other tables here. If I am, oops, I meant to open that. You see here, you know, if you, you roll this, then you get a you know, just a normal patrol, one with a leader, one with an, uh, an elite patrol. I did the same with all these different ones. The high level one, too, is the leader and the elite patrol. So then, by doing this, you're clicking on it and you're activating it, and it's randomly putting you through those three different tables. So this way, instead of having a you could just have some of these base tables and then depending on what level you are in the dungeon or, or wherever you can just have these master tables here and you could say adjust it Oops, here we go say oh this is more of a goblin area so instead of 1 through 8 you're going to say 1 through 12 is goblins and then you would adjust these other ones appropriately of course and make them less so by using nesting tables like that can be very useful and then lastly activating dice rolls within your tables Tables only accept commands. So you can put any command in here, but you have to have the slash and then whatever it is. It doesn't accept square brackets or just bare dice rolling. You need that slash R if you're going to get a roll or you know slash me for rolling to yourself. It uses all those different commands. So, oops, no, I didn't want that one. If you go in die rolling, if you do the number one, you see you just get your straight up roll. Now the second one I put in there, because sometimes you do want some text in your rolls, and this is kind of a little just way to short circuit it so you do get some text. If you notice in the roll here I put it on the output it didn't give me the text but at least in the in the basic equation it will give you those words. And for a table that really is the only way that you can get some words in there. Here I'll show you again here. See this is just your normal roll but if you put those words at the end there it'll basically just ignore them but at least it will still list them up on the chat window for you. And those words do have to be after the roll not before the slash r otherwise it won't recognize the roll command. And that is how you create tables and some of the different options you have with them.